Hey guys, so I'm about to run a data log on my car right now using the uh, Cobb Access Sport. Um, I have a custom tune on the car. So um, a few weeks back, my boost gate, I, I did a run and my boost gauge was flashing, but this time it was different. The boost gauge was flashing continuously. Um, so when the boost gauge over here flashes, this means knock um, or detonation. So something is happening. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, the access port would give you an indication on what the issue might be because you can check codes over here or you can check what's causing the check, um, uh, check engine light or, or limp mode. The car didn't go in limp mode, which is good. <laughs> So the Cobb Access Port gives you like um, a mini indication on where the issue is coming from. So you can get knock from major stuff or minor stuff. Major stuff like uh, faulty injectors, a problem with your fuel pumps, um, and something minor could be that you just have bad uh, a batch of gas tank that you fill. But to take an extra step, uh, always you know care about your engine. Do a data log. So what what that happens is. Um, do a data log which is connected to the car's ECU okay and save the data download it on the sheet and then send it to your tuner the tuner can then identify uh, what is causing the issues fix it something could be something major or minor but I like to take an extra step and always do that okay so now um, how to run a data log so first of all um, in your access port uh, you need to go to the settings and then choose the parameters or the monitors that you want to um, log. I'll list them down in the description because there are a few ones that you need to add. Uh, something like the air, air to fuel ratio, injector duty cycle, um, RPM boost uh, or your current map. Um, after that uh, make sure you have a long empty road. Uh, make sure engine temperatures, uh, both our engine and transmission temperature is high or good. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to have to do this on manual mode. Um, so for the transmission setting, setting, put it on R, suspension on comfort, and uh, VDC off or traction control off, just so you avoid any slipping or, or any traction hitting while you're uh, accelerating. So the reason for why you're going to have the um, transmission setting to R, because you want to, when you data log, you're going to do it from first to fourth gear, and you have to hit 7k rpm so when your setting is on r for transmission setting is r it's not going to auto shift for you so it will allow you to hit that rev limiter that 7000 um, rpms um, and that's about it we can start right now manual now everything is set all i have to do is click ok which starts the data logging I'll start that just when the car is rolling. Okay, now it's data log. Fourth gear. So that's it. Now what you have to do is uh, download AP Manager. Um, you can find out on the Cop Tuning website. Send that to your tuner for diagnose and hopefully you figure out what's the issue. 